don't buy cheap stuff. I know that I should not buy cheap stuff, but a month ago I was down in LA, some of you know that I was down there, and my bike tire was stolen. So what did I do? I replaced it with the cheapest bike tire I could find, and at the time I was telling myself this is a really bad idea, but I just didn't want to spend the big bucks to replace a tire that someone had stolen. So it's now a month later, and I've had three flat tires, and uh, they have cost me $8, $18, and $7 to get fixed. And now I'm out the original like $40 or $45 for that original tire, uh, the, the original wheel, the whole assembly, plus those, plus the expense of having to deal with a flat tire and all the time it took. And I just got back from the bike shop where I just spent about $115 buying a brand new tire. Uh, so here's my brand new tire. Dun, da, da. It's beautiful and it's gonna last forever. And here's my cheapo one made in China. Um, like I said, I don't know. Um, they couldn't really figure out what was wrong with that tire. I think it was just cursed. But the lesson here, uh, and I'm partly posting this just for myself to remember is don't buy cheap stuff. Go ahead, get the stuff that's going to be durable. Otherwise, you'll end up buying the cheap stuff and then spending money to either fix it or you'll realize that you need to go out and buy the good stuff anyway. And then you have the price of the good stuff plus the price of the cheap stuff. So if you've done something like that, bought something cheap and then realized later that it was a really bad idea, uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, just wanted to get this quick thought out for the day. Also, I've been chatting with my friend Tara, who is a waste reduction specialist. Uh, and I thought, wow, this is, really, um, this is really great for Tara too, because this is about not buying more stuff that you have to throw away. Buying stuff that's gonna last you a good long time. And now I've got that tire.